We're going to board a plane in a few minutes. We're so excited that we'll get to see you guys in a few hours. Isn't that right, guys? What? Oh, yeah. I'm very excited to see everyone and get to know them better. How about you, Conan? Yeah, I'm very excited to see everyone. I miss everyone and I'm so happy that I'll see them because of how happy I am to see them. Camille? I too am exhilarated to visit. It's going to be such a pleasure to see the entire family together once more. Parry, Parry in all of its glory. I heard there were many magnificent places to gleefully jaunt in. I do hope we get there before tea time. Uh, okay, Miss Hughes' big words. We're having vacation. No need to write an essay. Camille, I'm happy to tell you that you've been accepted into the school of fancy words. Oh, wait. Let me speak in your language. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> ha ha, really funny. What about you, Dad? I'm also happy to visit. I just hope that I don't get interrupted because of business. Hey, Guinevere, there's also... Hello? Are you there? Oh. At least we don't have to deal with that lag every day. We're going to be living with Guinevere, Gwen, Louie, and Sam for seven days. I'm sure all of you don't mind that. I'm excited to be visiting them again. I even brought my favorite notepad with me. Don't you solve mysteries with that notepad? You should solve the mystery about how Humphrey did all those jobs within his lifetime. Who? The butler Guinevere hired. Oh yeah, you kids don't know him yet. He's very interesting from what I've heard. But she does have a good eye. I heard he was a weightlifter before. So, if we snap our fingers, that butler will arrive at our command. Now, now, be nice to the butler. He's still a human. And plus, you never know where he might appear next. Well, are there any mysteries I can solve? Uh, oh, I know. I know a mystery you can solve. Solve the mystery of how our rich grandma has terrible Wi-Fi. Mm, what about the place? Is it haunted? The place? It's a mansion as far as I've heard. But maybe her Aunt Gwen was exaggerating. A mansion? Why even trust Gwen? You know she talks about owning something. Gucci's? Gucci, I don't want to remember. What? Gwen's bragging about owning cheese now? Brother, I'm pretty sure it's an Italian luxury brand. L luxury cheese? No, you air. My bad, Italian luxury cheese. It's a clothing brand, like expensive designer cheese, but clothes. <sighs> it has been one of my life goals to find mysteries and solve them. And everywhere you look, there are thousands of stories to tell. Nobody except Conan takes me as a mystery solver seriously. They need to see Aldo Great. All I need is just a chance to show it. Also, what do they know about good mystery solvers if they don't even think that I'm a good one? Are hot dog sandwiches? There's probably going to be a mystery. I mean, it's a huge mansion. Elizabeth, do we need to buy a coffin or are you still alive? We're boarding now. Welcome to Manet Mansion. Wow, so it really was a mansion. Based on our family's income, have you expected a shed? Gwen, it's so good to see you again. Martha, long time no see. I've been traveling all over the world from Philadelphia to Budapest. More, more, le jet lag is the least of my worries. And I'm the reason for most of our worries. My name is Sam. Nice to meet you again. It's been a while. Oh, and have some candy with me. Want some? Sure thing! Guess who's back by in popular demand? Me! Great to see you again once more, brother. This place has been a little stiff without the extra noise, including Guinevere. Speaking of Guinevere, is she doing alright? Ah, uh, don't worry, Miss Othmane. Humphrey's downstairs. He's escorting her now. Humphrey? Yes, Humphrey. He's a great butler, but his last name is quite... odd. 
Anyhow, he's also a mysterious man. I heard he was a traveling artist that became a doctor. And who told you? Mom over here. He also has a doctorate degree. I really wonder what mom did to persuade him to become a butler. Maybe his wage? Oh, I'm not persuaded by your mother's little things like money. Or paper. Your butler, Humphrey P., at your service. Okay, hey, ma'am, let me get that for you and for you. Oh! Oh, thank you! Wow! I didn't even need to snap my fingers! Could you get my stuff too, please? <sighs> yes, yes, of course. Oh, uh... Are you sure you can carry that all by yourself? It's nothing the Humphrey P. can't do! Artist and doctor? And weightlifter, I guess. Mother, how good it is to see you again. My dear Nicholas, and Martha, it's been centuries since I last saw you. Wow, you're still young looking after all those centuries, don't you think? Thank you, darling. I definitely think so, too. Camille Manet. <clears throat> Guinevere, meet my children, Conan, Camille, and Elizabeth. Nice to see you again, Guinevere. Hello, Gra- Good morning, Grandma Guinevere! Pleasure to finally meet you, Grandma Monet. Ah, Nicholas, you accomplished man. You built a life of your own, with three children. Last I saw you, Elizabeth was still a youngster. You were also convincing Louis to get a job. Ah, how the times have changed. Wow, wow, what an opening. I've helped you prepare your rooms for the week, so please, settle in. Enjoy yourself. Those are Humphrey's lines. A man can't have his credit, can he? Thank you. Thank you all once again so much. I will... I will make sure that our children are very well behaved. Ah, oh, little malice wouldn't hurt around here. Sam is such a disciplined child. Totally! Yeah, I am disciplined, so you guys better behave! Conan and I are already mature enough. Elizabeth, on the other hand, needs a watchful eye on her. I think Elizabeth is okay. Yeah, I'm okay! So sorry, but I think she'll knock a vase down. Now now, Elizabeth. Just because this place is a mansion doesn't mean you get to raise your voice. I'm sure she won't knock anything down. That is, if she's not clumsy. Care for a tour, Monet's. Do enjoy your stay. You have lots of space for yourselves now. Thank you, Grandma Monet. Grandma Lepois, dear. Oh, Grandma Lepois. <laughs> Anyways, let's focus on exploring the mansion. I'm sure you'd love to explore its mysteries, especially you, Lizzie. Mysteries? I swear I'm gonna get lost here. This I guess is the foyer, right? Then if we go into this hallway... I've only I've been only here for three, three days. days. And the, the only, only mystery, mystery is, Gwen earns money, money from, from spoiling, spoiling people. people. Like, 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 spoiling, spoiling people. people. It's, it's her, her actual, actual job. job. I'm, I'm starting to wonder, wonder how her bank, bank account still, still has money. money. With, with, with all, all these, these designer brands, brands weave emporiums, and, and, and roasted, roasted ducks duck hanging everywhere I look. Like, it's a fancy restaurant. Does she have no debt? Clearly, every business in every industry has their share of debt. But I don't know how Auntie can- Lizzie, are you there? Snap out of it! Uh, uh, oh, uh, yeah, sorry, uh, what were you saying? I was saying... Um, uh, hi, Auntie! Sam and I were just having a conversation about, um, um, oh! I'm surprised to learn that Uncle spoke Mandarin. Oh, he does. But let's talk about that another time, dear Lizzie. Sam, I need to speak to you for a moment. Watch up, Mom, what is it? Listen, I'm trying to be as accommodating as I can, especially with Lizzie, Morphine. But with the recent events, I think the Monets are experiencing inner and outer turmoil. What are you trying to imply? I think they'd be filing for bankruptcy any time these days with their practices. Speaking of death, Who's filing for bankruptcy? The Monet or Gwen Dubois? Ah, oh, the irony! 
Mon amour, you know the motto? Garde ton esprit, peu importe à quel point les choses vont mal. Not to panic, keep your wits no matter how bad things get. They're good with the first part. Look at Nicholas, for example. I heard they lost major investors prior to this week, but they're looking like they can take over a country and be back in time. Camille, you do realize we're in a critical condition now, right? You're making a problem I'll have to finish fixing yet another one of our problems. This is not just a mini internship for you. This is our source of money and income. Absolutely not. But I can help. I've been helping Nicholas. Enough. We shall not speak of it. Yeah, so I've been watching you, watching them. <laughs> but don't do that out in the open. Lizzie, okay? Don't be like your family. Oh, you get what I mean. You're old enough, Lizzie. What does he mean by not being like my family? Could he be lying? Only uncle would be brave enough to tell me this. And more so, it's like I myself am not a member of his family. You know, Lizzie, I heard you have good detective skill, but you should know that there's this thing called gaze detection. Someone can tell if you're being watched. Maybe just next time, if you need to spy again. Wow, coming up knew I was watching her. Anyway, that doesn't matter. It couldn't be possible, could it? Was uncle just making a joke or... I don't think Lewis would make a joke about such a thing. Why would he? I mean, what else could he have meant? Did he mean- So this, dinner's ready, come on, let's go downstairs quickly. Oh, okay then! Do you know what dinner is? Like, food. Or, you know, dinner? What? Oh yeah, the food seems a little questionable. But it looks somewhat- Edible? Ah, uh, I sure hope <laughs> that it tastes better than it looks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you better keep up with that mindset when you see the food. <laughs> of course I will. A woman must stay true to her words. <laughs> I guess they're yet to be a woman. Conan, can I ask you a question? Far away. Okay, uh, well, how do I put it? Uh, take your time. Uh, oh, uh, how do you feel about Camille? Camille? Well, I personally think she complains a little too often. She's also our sister, so unfortunately we have to listen to her complaint. No, 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 That's not what I mean. I mean... How do you feel about Camille pursuing business? Oh, uh, I'm happy for her. I'm glad she is following her dream, but I feel like she should live her childhood first. She sure is ambitious, but I think for now she should focus on making memories and hang out with us or even just pursuing family. She pushed all of us away to study and get ahead of everyone else. I think she grew up too fast. If she really wants to pursue the business, then she can. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, uh, wait, I didn't mean to sound selfish. I just wanted to go back to the good old times. No, 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 it's okay. I'm glad we share the same feeling. Ah, that's great to hear then. Oh, shit. I'm afraid it's past our bedtime. It's a big day tomorrow. All right, Liz, sleep is an important thing we should do. Good night. Good night! See you tomorrow! This, this Gina girl has been influencing you in a horrible, horrible way, my dear. I, I don't even understand how you could listen to her. Do, do you understand how this could affect our family? I don't understand why you think. <laughs> Password protected. Ah. Hmm. Let's see what's in this file. <gasps> Someone's trying to target your reputation!
reputation? Elizabeth, get your hands off. Th these papers, these aren't even yours. Oh, sorry. You, you shouldn't be saying sorry to me. These papers aren't even mine. They're your father's. Maybe Pana could help. I'm uh, so oh sorry! Dear. Apologies, Miss Monet. I'm so sorry, Humphrey! It's alright, dear. I've experienced worse in my past jobs. Past job? Oh, right. You were a wave lifter, a traveling artist, then a dog- Let me stop you right there, miss. Some of those jobs you've stated are figments you have created. You forgot astronaut. Do you think arms like mine can weight lift? But yes, like what I've said, I've experienced worse, especially during my travels. Whoa, travels? I bet you've been traveling all around the globe already. That's what everyone thinks. I haven't though. I haven't even seen all of Asia yet. Anyways, I've got to get going, miss. Your mother has told me to set some dates on future family events. Hey, Mr. Humphrey, can I ask you something? Sure thing! Do you know anything about some people ruining our family's reputation? Or anything like that? Uh, oh, my dear, I have no business in that. I'm just a butler. However, if I do know something, you won't see me anymore. I get fired. Wait, how is that possible? The truth always finds a way to come out, Elizabeth. Oh. I'm sorry if I couldn't give a direct answer, Elizabeth. I have no clue right to say. It's alright, Mr. Humphrey. I understand. Anyways, I've got to get going now. Sorry to disturb your day. Oh, bonjour, my Elizabeth. How can I help you, my dear? May I know about the papers you're working on? Oh, paper? Dear, I'm not working in a paper factory. What makes you think I'm working there? More and more, Elizabeth. We. Oui. I'm working in the family business. But I'm not working in a paper company. You know that already, n'est-ce pas? Uh, uh, um... Yeah, you're still too young to know all about this anyway, right? I mean, you still have to accomplish middle school, and you have so much to see. I'm gonna go out now. Uh, bye? Do be careful, Lizzie. Conan! 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 Ah, uh, where could he be? Liz? Oh, hey! Conan! I, I found something super interesting. Well, uh... It's not that good. In fact, it's kind of bad. But I think it's something I can solve. Oh, okay. How bad is it? Well, what's a traitor amongst the Monet family? Uh, uh, a what? Are we gonna die? No, 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 no. Don't worry. There's a traitor trying to ruin father's business. So we're gonna die. Look, if I ask more questions, maybe we can root out the traitor. Uh, who are you asking? Well, I'm interrogating the family inside this very mansion. I already talked to Humphrey and tried to talk to Gwen, but it didn't work. Uh, what did you ask them? Are you interrogating me right now? Uh, no, th that's your job. I just want to know what you asked them. Do you, do you think I'm the traitor? No, no, you're too young to do anything with the father's business. Well, I asked if they knew who the traitor was. But, you got your answer- I don't think the traitor would tell you they're the traitor if you asked them if they were the traitor. What? Oh. Like, if you asked a bad guy if he was a bad guy, he wouldn't tell you he is the bad guy. Yeah, I get you. I know I'm not that good with advice, but maybe you gotta be just a bit less direct. Like asking something around the balloon, but the answer will prick the balloon. S sorry, I I'm just trying to make a better example. It's fine, brother. Thank you for that advice. I think we'll be able to find that trigger now. So, what else did you get by questioning them? 
Humphrey said he doesn't have a direct answer. Maybe I gotta question him indirectly. As for Gwen, I don't know what she was saying. She said she doesn't work for a paper company. Uh, a company that sells paper? She said she's working for the family's business. So, she's still in the picture. Conan, Liz, uh, this place is so marvelous. I think I lost Camille within these walls. Yeah, I think I got lost in the walls too. In? Do you know where Camille's been off to? Mm, nope. I don't know either, Mom. Wait! Yes, sweetheart? <sighs> have you been... Um... Have you been helping our father with his work? Elizabeth, honey. I already have a lot on my hands. And I am a best-selling author. I sadly don't have time to help Nicholas with his papers. And, well, I have no experience in it either. <sighs> he has that assistant on his phone to help him out anyways. Okay. Thanks, Bob. I'll help you find Camille. Please do. I'll go out the hallway where I came from. Can you two go through the other one? Sure thing. But warning. I might get lost again. I'll be with you. So you'll be fine. See you everyone, Mom. See you. So, Humphrey can't be involved with the business. He's a newly hired butler and I doubt he's a businessman despite his travels. And he said he'd be fired if he knew anything. Right. Mom Marsta said she's a best-selling author. Doesn't have experience in business and is just a busy woman didn't she tell us before we went to france that she was drafting thing called acu uh, air conditioning age c after hours club let's guess she's working on it while in the mansion so there's really no time for her to be messing with father's business right so humphrey and martha they're both clear and I forgot to mention something. This way, Conan! Yeah, my bad. What did you forget to mention? Guinevere! Grandma Guinevere! Well, let me explain. I found out there's a traitor by, um, looking at some files in Father's office. <gasps> you, you trespassed? The other family members were talking about something strange going on within the business. I really wanted a peek, okay? And you found files that said there's a traitor. I was planning to show you those files, but Guinevere took them from me, saying that the family's reputation would go down if I did anything to them. You, you were planning to steal those files and show them to me? Uh, I was in a silly goofy mood, okay? Right. So, we keep an eye on Gwen and Guinevere Hey, there. hey, what are you two talking about? Um, nothing, Uncle. We were just looking for Camille. Uncle Louis. How do you not get lost in this mansion? I am the mansion. Uh, okay? Oh, but sadly, I do not know where Camille is. She has so much potential, I can see her chasing her dream and winning the race. Speaking of Camille, she's chasing down a business dream. And I was wondering if you knew anything about it. A business career? What an accomplished child. When I was her age, I still thought uncooked cookie dough was edible. It isn't? Do you know anything about the business? Like the one Camille wants to pursue? Why do you ask that? Um... Um... Oh, we're running out of topics to talk about with Camille. Camille's very busy now because of the business. So... Do you know anything about it? Well, as far as I know, Guinevere and Nicholas are in charge of the business. Nicholas is the head, and Guinevere is the arched back. What about Camille? Does she help out with anything? Well, Nicholas and I were discussing business matters, and he likes to tell me about his assistant being helpful, mentions Camille here and there, 
Apparently, she helps out with a few decisions, despite only having textbook knowledge. You're also helping the business? They could use some extra hands. It's not like I need mine anyways. Oh yeah, and Guinevere is looking for you guys. Don't get lost. Wait, 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 wait. And he's gone. He didn't say much. Wait, he didn't give us a location. For... Grandma! Now we have to look for Grandma and then Camille. Uh, oh, no. <sighs> okay, let's just pick this hallway. Follow me. So, is Louis still a suspect? Yep. Those hands better not be betraying us. <laughs>